Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I am a personal trainer as well as a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, I basically perform feats of strength as part of a live show, kind of in the same vein as the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass did back about 100 or so years ago, but with a modern day twist. Things like bending steel bars, breaking chains, rolling up frying pans, that sort of thing. So I had started my YouTube channel actually a couple years back about like training videos and then it started, it evolved into a vlog which would catalog some of my experiences as a modern day performing strongman, taking my shows to corporations, colleges, schools, etc., etc., so I can give you insight into what goes into being a modern day performing strongman and also to let people know that, that this is in fact a thing. Now, when the world shut down, I had to evolve the channel because there was no, no more uh, shows to do. So I did Feats of Strength um, every Friday until life returned to normal, which it for the most part has. So what I decided to do instead is as it starts to transition into doing live shows again and I could start vlogging my shows again, I wanted to give uh, knowledge and stuff like that about my training methodology so that I can promote my purpose in life, which is making the world strong. So I decided that I'm gonna be answering questions and stuff like that, and it also helps the algorithm. So this question comes from Samuel Resende, Resend, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but thank you for asking your question. He says, how often, and how can I train my grip and forearms for bending as a complete beginner? Thanks for the content, by the way. Your videos were one of the inspirations for me to start training. I wanna thank you for telling me that, Sam, because a lot of times when I put these things out there, I have no idea who's watching or what, it, what if anything, it does to people. So if I've inspired you to start training for strength, um, that is awesome. That is exactly why I do the things that I do. So as far as how often and what you can do, it really depends. It depends on how your body's responding to the training. It depends on what you're doing as far as the training. As far as things that are going to carry over to bending steel and breaking chains and stuff like that, what I would like you to do, and this is kind of where I started on my journey, was there's an exercise called the Turkish getup. And supposedly it was a rite of passage amongst the strong men of old was to be able to do a Turkish getup with around 100 or so pounds before starting the feats of strength. So if you can do that, do it around 100 pounds, you're going to have built up enough strength to start bending steel. At least that's where I started with my journey. I know that many of the other steel benders didn't have that necessarily under their belt, but I know that it helped tremendously with me. Um, when I started working with my first strongman mentor, the late, New Jer late great New Jersey Superman, Greg Matonic, he had trained a number of steel benders over the years. And he had said that of the people that progressed the fastest, there was only one person that was ahead of me and that was the Man of Steel, Sonny Barry, who is an absolute terminator. So I don't mind coming in second to him. Um, but I attribute a lot of my, like how fast I was able to progress was ba based on the strength that I had built up within the getup, because I do think that it does somewhat transfer to bending steel. And if you are doing the getup with a beast, that's a 106 pound kettlebell. The thing is like trying to crank your wrist back like that. And since you are stopping it from doing that, it can be a tremendous work, workout for your forearm on its own while you're driving forward. So as far as um, what to do for that, I would say just practice the getup, practice lifting heavy until you're able to do it with the beast. And if you're able to do it with the beast for a couple reps, 
that's going to be pretty impressive. Now I'm trying to think, did I miss anything within that question? Oh, yes. Because it wasn't necessarily mentioned within the question. But if you're able to do the, the get up with the beast, then in, in terms of getting into bending, what I recommend is getting yourself a coach. One moment, please. Okay, so where was I? Oh, you're gonna wanna get a coach. So, I mean, when it comes to the feats of strength, there is technique behind each one of them. That's gonna be, the same thing is true with like a 500 pound bench press. You're gonna wanna have your technique down. Now, the one that taught me, that I recommend to teach technique, the one that taught me a lot of the feats after Greg passed away, is Hercules Chris Ryder. And I can, I'm going to provide a link to his website in the description below. Reach out to him if you wanna begin. You don't actually technically have to get a get up under your belt for him to teach you because he can progress just about anybody from any point that they are. He just knows that stuff like the back of his hand. When I mentioned the get up, that's where I came from. So reach out to him, see if he can coach you, and he will take you beyond what you think yourself capable of. But anyways, I thank you for asking the question. I thank the rest of you for watching. Um, in the meantime, or if you like the content, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you got comments to say, drop them in the comments below. If you've got questions, that gives me content for this YouTube channel until the gigs start rolling in, or rolling back in, I should say. And in the meantime, please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong. Please stay safe, everyone. Eric Moss, over and out.